everyone, welcome back. I'm so happy you're here because I'm super excited for today's video. I am sharing my top five lipsticks from 2022. All of these lipsticks are a luxury or high-end brands. I didn't get a chance to try out too many drugstore lipsticks last year. There were the Milani color fetish lipsticks that I absolutely love, but those actually originally came out last year. So, I'm excited to share these with you. I am going to go from number five and then work my way up to number one. You guys know the name of my channel is Lipstick Amore. I'm obsessed with lipsticks. You can see all the lipsticks in the back. Like, it's a little crazy over here. Anyways, let's just get right into it. On my number five is a really, really weird one. And you guys are going to be like, what? Wasn't this in your My Disappointing Luxury Products video? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, but, 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 the reason why <laughs> this was in My Disappointing one was just because of all the claims that they were making. They were like, this is a super long lasting wearing lipstick, like 12 hour wear. And when I put it on and I'm like, wait, no, like this comes off like, pretty easily like it's just pretty basic lipstick there's nothing long lasting about it so when i purchased it i was hoping to have that longevity in the wear time and i didn't get that but why i love this lipstick is because of the way it looks on your lips this is one of the unique formulas that i have in my collection I'm not even sure if I actually have anything like now, it. This is a lip crayon. So it looks like this and you can twist it up, twist it back down, which is pretty cool. And what's so unique about this formula is that it looks so beautiful and so soft. It has a very romantic look on your lips. I would say this is like a perfect lipstick for brunch brunch a soft like day event whether it's mother's day a wedding like just something really soft fresh it almost has like a blotted effect but a little bit more emollient and softer than a blotted effect oh Ooh, this one's a hard one i'm not sure which one i should put on number four this one's really hard. <laughs> okay, which one? I did not rate this beforehand fully. I'm gonna put this on number four. So on number four is this Gucci liquid lipstick. First of all, the packaging is superb. It's absolutely beautiful and when you open it up you have a very nice easy to use applicator at least for my little tiny thin lips and what i like about this is number one it's not overly drying and cracky as most liquid lipsticks are and it wears off beautifully again it's not as long lasting as they i think they were also claiming this to be very long lasting it is not super long lasting but the way that it wears off it wears off really beautifully it doesn't look ugly when it's when it wears off so i have two of these and i i think they're just a really nice beautiful like a soft matte liquid lipstick formula on my number three spot is anastasia beverly hills satin lipstick i know this color is ugly but i, I have other colors <laughs> very thick lipsticks and i love lipsticks that last long on your lips like if I'm working, I don't want to have to worry about my lipstick until after lunchtime. Meaning that even after lunch, it should still look decent and not like patchy and worn off and ugly. Like I would still reapply it after lunch, but it should still get me through lunch without making me look weird. So this one is a really thick satin formula. It kind of reminds me of Natasha Denona, but I feel like it's 
less emollient and less slippery than Natasha Denona. It's easier to apply. It's a little bit more comfortable. I'm kind of surprised why this was a new item for 2022. I'm not sure if it was a reformulation. Like, to imagine that ABH never had a satin lipstick, it's kind of hard to believe. So I'm not sure if this was a reformulation in 2022 or if they really came out with a satin lipstick for the first time maybe number two is this charlotte tilbury kissing lipstick this is a really good lipstick really 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 good it gives you a beautiful satin finish on your lips but it's still long wearing like after lunch, I was still good. It definitely, the color fades over time. So the way it looked initially, like this is a pretty beautiful, vibrant color. So when I first applied it, it looked very bright, beautiful, not like overly like crazy bright, but a very nice, vibrant, beautiful color. By the time a lunch was over, it was much lighter, but still there and still nourishing my lips. Not dry in any way, not patchy. I, it's a pretty good lipstick. Like, it could be on number one, but number one, there's just something special about number one. Right. Number one. <laughs> is the Lancome Drama Matte Lipstick. I love this lipstick so much. It's so beautiful. So this is similar to Charlotte Tilbury in that it lasts a long time, but this one is a matte formula. You know, you don't always want your lips to be shiny, satiny looking. Sometimes you want to rock that matte look, which I think is perfect for fall time. I love a matte lip during the fall. So it's, it's hard to find good matte lipsticks that are long wearing, but don't dry out on your lips. And some of the soft matte formulas, those can come off pretty easily from your lips because they're super soft and that makes it more prone to like coming off of your lips. So this one has a really nice like grip onto your lips, but it's not dry. It's still a matte formula and it's, it's beautiful, it's comfortable, it's long wearing. I think this lipstick needs more hype. I love all of these lipsticks. I think I do wish that, I mean, I understand the packaging of this one goes with the formula it's nice and soft but i wish there was a little more pizzazz in this packaging but all the other four lipsticks packaging absolutely beautiful formula amazing and i would love to have more of them I definitely want more of the kissing lipsticks because I only have one and I know she came out with more shades, but <laughs> Yeah, but I have so many others and I work from home so Like the whole lunch thing is not even relevant anymore like I'm on my computer all day. Anyways, those were my favorite top five luxury lipsticks from 2022. I think all of them are great in their own way. They're all different from each other. They're absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed me showing these lipsticks to you. I hope you liked the video and if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And it is Vlogmas, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.